Bangladesh could face a serious food deficit by up to 13.7 million tons of rice by 2030, mainly driven by reduced land availability and climatic risks. Built around large permanent embankments, 139 polders in the Bangladesh coastal zone face constant stagnant flooding, water scarcity, and high incidence of poverty and malnutrition. It covers around 1.2 million hectares and is home to 8 million people. Under the Feed the Future program of USAID, the Sustainable Intensification Innovation Lab, in collaboration with Kansas State University and the International Rice Research Institute, is working with national agencies to implement a project in the polder zone to unlock and demonstrate the agricultural production potential of the region. A total of 1,770 hectares were placed under improved water management and cropping systems. Some activities done in the polders include water management at catchment level and rice maize and rice sunflower cropping systems. The use of small machines for harvesting paddy by women entrepreneurs and for dry season cropping. A study on fodder crops appropriate in the polders to support the farmers' livestock. Different aspects of farming, nutrition awareness, and agri-entrepreneurship, and long-term training of MS and PhD students. The project stakeholders consisting of producers, extension workers, women entrepreneurs, and students have started to feel its positive impact into their livelihoods and technical interventions. ভুট্টা <laughs> as a faculty today, I am sharing all those gain knowledge with my students. I think such type of programs are very effective for young generations uh, to enriching themselves, uh, working with the farmers and also the international scientists to solve real field problems. Having a strong interest and support from national agencies and other international development partners, we anticipate that more farmers and collaborators will join the demonstrations and training, including women and youth. Pathways to scaling will continue to be identified, and it is envisaged to help more people improve their livelihoods and resilience to the ever-changing dynamics of land and water in the polders.